Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and welcome to another Open That Box episode. Today, we're unboxing three items. Pyrect, this one is from Pyrect, or Pyrect, or Perikt. I don't know how to say it, I'm gonna call it Pyrect. And this is uh, something else from Amazon, and this is also from Amazon, so... Let's open up the small packages first, because that big one's pretty special. It's gonna help my content creation a ton. And it's going to make you guys get better videos. Okay. This one is probably pretty obvious. Another USB RGB strip. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but just a Amazon review thing. Nothing really on my YouTube channel, because you guys don't need to know what a USB strip is going to do. It's probably pretty obvious. Next is this. This one's nothing special, either. This is just... Ah, get rid of this. This is just a... A... USB 3.0 extension cable. Nothing special, it's gold connectors, though. That's, again, nothing you guys need to see in the channel. This is something very important. It's a very important video I want to make. And I need to point this out to you guys. First of all, let's open this up. The packaging on this, as you can see, is very good. So let's peel this off. Let's open this up as good as we can. I don't know if this is the retail packaging for this thing, because this is a review item I got. But I hope it is, because I want you guys to see how it'll be to unbox the retail version of this product. See if you can slide this out. Mm, don't think it's gonna come out that way, but maybe. Up, oh, it is. There we go. There's one. There we go. There's two. This package is actually pretty special. I don't wanna throw it. Okay, bubble wrapping. I hope none of you guys seen the label yet because I don't want you guys to know what these two packages are until I show you the front of them or until I tell you. I don't know if this is the retail packaging but it seems to be. Man, this knife is pretty sharp. I never noticed that. Duh. Okay. So, this looks like retail packaging, these are both boxes, and this is what it is, if I can put that right side up. So, this is the Pyrect Ultra P2, and this is the Pyrect Ultra P1. Both of these are PCIe capture cards, they're one by, and the only difference between these two is that this one only has an HDMI in, and this one only has, and this one has an HDMI in and out, so you guys can see what you're doing. So these capture cards, this one is only 80, and this one I think is only 90. Now the reason why I'm saying only is because compare these to their competitors, which I consider Elgato. Elgato HD60 Pro is $200. So, seeing that price difference, I'm sure a lot of you assume that these Pyrect cards are no good and that the all Elgato ones are the best ones. But actually, the truth is that the reason why Elgato is $200 is because they ha they are one of the only guys, not the only, but they're like a really big competitor in the market, and they have 1080p 60fps, and these guys are 1080p 30fps. But... Are you willing to spend $200 just for the 60 FPX? FPS, I mean? I don't agree. I think it's way better to spend $90 for 30 FPS than $200 for 60. And that's why I reached out to these guys and asked them if I can review their product, and they just sent it over. So, here it is. I believe this is the retail packaging, and this is the unboxing experience. So first, you're going to get the capture card itself. You're going to get a owner's manual, an installation CD. This CD is their software, which I'm not going to use because I recommend OBS. It is very, very good that they include this. Not to say it's bad that they included it, 
because a lot of people don't want to use OBS, or a lot of people I'm sure might like this software, but me personally, I like OBS, so I'm not going to use that. It also comes with a uh, bracket, a low profile bracket, and in here is some other stuff, so. Yeah, this is just the capture card itself. So here's the anti-static packaging, nice Pyrect sticker. I'm gonna try not to rip that. Don't really want to rip that. Try not to if I can. Ah, okay. It's actually pretty easy. And here is the card itself. Now, the only thing about this is this one's red and that one's black. They're bo I, as I told you before, these cards are both exactly the same. The only difference is this one has an HDMI in and out, and that one only has an in. So this one you can see what you're doing in a second monitor, this one you cannot. Personally, I'm going with this one, but you could take this one if you want also. Once again, this is 90, that's 80. And let's check what's in here now. Okay, slightly different packaging, but the same stuff. An owner's manual, Pyrex software, low profile bracket, and a little uh, more anti-stuff, but... As you can see, it's the same stuff. So, why am I recommending these guys? Once again, they're a lot cheaper. It's just 30 versus 60 FPS, and I don't think it's worth it to pay $200 just to get 60 FPS. So, those are the cards. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is what we unboxed. We unboxed this, this, and this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Subscribe for more content like this, and I will be doing a full-on review of these cards. I'll only make one video, however, because they're both exactly the same as per their specs. Sorry for moving the camera. They're both exactly the same per the specs. The only difference is this one has an input and output, and so I'm only going to be making one video. But if you want to see that video, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.